Hi, welcome to that pocket page book. We're making a book, cloth book, full of pages of pockets. All sorts of places to put all sorts of things. So we've done a few pages already, so we're actually up to page seven now. And so we've got a, a pocket here that we're doing this time. It's like this sample up here. So it's kind of a large pocket, pretty much full page. You can st stick something nice and large in there. It can stick out the top a little bit because it's going to be kept in place with its little flap there with a hook and loop type fastening on there. So if you're already signed up with GourmetQuarter.com to have the pattern, you will have a page that looks something like this. It tells you what you need to cut for that page and how to put it together. So I've gone ahead, I've cut all mine out. We needed uh, two, two pieces for the front of the pocket, for the large pocket. Now they don't have to be the same when I made this one. This one has a different colour on the inside, just for fun. Nobody really sees it, so it could be something else that you want to use in there that's absolutely fine, because it doesn't really show. Um, and then we need a background piece for the actual page. We need a piece for the flap. Now I've already gone ahead and made the flap because it's very similar to some things that we've done before. We had to join it together, turn it out the right way, and we had to put a, a, the fluffy uh, loop side of the fastening on there as well. So I've gone ahead and done that, partly for a reason and partly because I just did it. Um, so I've got the other part of the fastening there. So with our two front pocket pieces, you want to have them so that they're wrong sides together. So this is the right side, this is the right side. And then the other piece we need, we just got to make a binding to go across the top edge, basically. So it's a strip of fabric. If you fold it in half to find the center, then you can press those two edges into the center, the raw edges, and then you can fold that over and you've got a nice piece ready to bind here. So what we want to do is have these top edges of this piece all level and just sit them inside. So tuck them right up into the fold and you might want to put some pins in or clips or you might not. I'll pop a pin in because I've got one here. Um, so just make sure it does sit into that fold all the way along so that that's a nice snug um, binding over the top there because we're going to stitch right through all layers. Because we've folded it in the middle and we've pushed the fabric up into the centre, it will all stitch very nicely for you. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch that. Um, I'm going to just start here. I'm just probably an eighth of an inch in from the fold of the darker colour here and just stitch all the way along and that's pretty much all we have to do to that piece of pocket. So I'll go ahead and do it. I will show you when I've I've done this uh, row of stitching so that we can just work out how to put the pocket page together. So I've gone ahead and I've stitched my binding so that you can see it's stitched nicely both sides. So we can place that, this is our pocket page, the main piece, the blue piece, on there. What we need to do before we stitch anything together though is we need to put our fastening on there and we want it in the middle and we think it's about an inch down but what we need to make sure that it's going to be, this is why I've made the flap first, because I've got my fastening already on there and we know it's going to sit level with the top of the page here, the raw edges of the, of the flap. And then, so we want this piece to sit right there so that when that's down, that's in the right place. So you can just measure it or you can measure it this way. If you turn that up the other way, you can actually see that that's level there. What we just need to do is make sure that it's in the middle going side to side as well so that everything is sitting right where we want it and it's actually pretty close. So that's looking pretty good there. I'll just double check that that's the right height. It's the right height to, for when that's closed. So all we need to do now is take that and stitch that piece not through to the page but onto the pocket itself. We know that it's in the right place and go ahead and stitch that loop onto there. So I've gone ahead, I've sewn my uh, fastening on there, it fits nicely. So all that's needed to do now is just a, a holding stitch around the three sides and also to hold the flap in place so that everything's ready for when we join it together with the next page. So I can go ahead and do that, just the same as I've done on this one. It's just all held together. Um, so it, it's got a line of sewing, and we can't see it, can you? <laughs> it's got a line of stitching holding the, the flap on. It's just a temporary hold. 
it's uh, more like a basting really just keeping everything together so that it's all in one piece so I'll go ahead and do that but other than that that was the end of page 7 thank you of our pocketbook and I'll see you again with page 8